Okay, so I thought I'd put together a quick uh, tutorial on how to merge uh, multi-bracketed images. That's images with with uh, multiple exposures, um, otherwise sometimes known as HDR images and so on. I'll, I'll just show you the process that I follow at least to blend all of these exposures together and, and, and create a nice finished product. So here's our exposures. Uh, I've got seven, I take several exposures at a time. You might take three or five. But in this case, I've, I've chosen to shoot seven. And here they are now in Lightroom in the library. I've imported them. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the de develop module. OK, and I'm going to go down into the timeline area down here. And I'm going to click the first image. I'm going to hold shift. And then I'm going to click the last image. And that results in all of the images being selected. And then I'm going to simply right click on that batch of imagery. And I'm going to choose edit in merge to HDR Pro in Photoshop. Okay, so here we are now in HDR Pro. Now just keep in mind that may take a good 20 or 30 seconds, that process of opening the uh, images in HDR Pro. It all depends on your computing power and indeed how big the individual images are. Here we are anyway in the Merge to HDR Pro dialog box and I like to choose 32-bit as the mode. I also choose Remove Ghosts should there be any ghosting that needs removed. In that respect I'm referring to things like the wind blowing these leaves. If I uncheck Ghosts, if you pay attention to over here on this part of the image, you'll see how removing ghosts will improve that section. So I'll toggle it on now. And we have a bit more of a refined detailed area in here of the tree. So it works, it works, you know, it's worth clicking. If there's nothing that has moved in the shot, then obviously there's no, no real need to click on it. So now that we've done that, remove ghosts 32 bit, we'll go down here to tone in ACR. Okay, so here we are in ACR, which is uh, Adobe Camera Raw, and there's our image in the middle that has had all of the images combined into one. Uh, at this point, my first go-to is simply over here in the in the uh, basic panel. Go down to Auto, and I'll click Auto, and Adobe does a pretty good job of adjusting all the exposures and blending it all into one. Uh, shot like that. Uh, quite good. There's not much more that I might do at this point. Um, you can surely tweak uh, vibrance and uh, your saturations and clarities and your whites and all sorts of bits and pieces through here. You might also click across into the detailed tab and adjust your sharpening or your noise reduction. But in this particular case I'm thinking for the purpose of this demo that's about as far as I'll go in this particular dialog. I'm going to hit OK now and return to Photoshop. Okay, so here's my image now in Photoshop. One more thing I'm going to do before we return to Lightroom is I'm going to pull these vertical lines into being more vertical and I'll do that by using the skew perspective. So it's edit, transform, skew, I'm also going to hit control and the uh, quotes key, inverted commas, and that'll pull up the grid that I'll use as a reference for when I'm straightening these lines. So I'm going to click on the corner of the image and I'm going to drag it over until my vertical lines are a bit more vertical and over here we can see these lines through here so I'm going to stretch across this part of the image as well and that's looking pretty good there maybe a tad more just over here and that's looking pretty good at this point I might just bring this one back a little and there we go so then you hit OK up the top a little check mark Adobe works its magic and we'll have our image straightened. Control quote to lose the grid and we are ready now to go back into Adobe Lightroom but before we do that we must right click on the layer and rasterize 
the layer and then we go to image mode 16 bits channel don't merge and then we want to save it so to do that I just simply click close Adobe will ask if I want to save the changes and I say yes so now we minimize Photoshop and go back into Lightroom and here is our image waiting for us to do our further refinements and editing so in through here now you might try looking at the white balance let's just toggle to auto as opposed to as shot and I like what Lightroom has done there with the auto I'm also going to click on my crop overlay tool and I'm going to just rotate the image a tad looking at the center area here getting the lines straight I done you might also play around with the contrast perhaps you saturate your colors uh, mix with the vibrance you might choose to sharpen it a little more down here so these, this is a, a great, you could spend another 10, 15, 20 minutes even on, 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 a, on an image perfecting it to look just how you want. But as far as the general workflow and procedure for blending HDR or multi-bracketed images, that's pretty much my workflow. I would then at this point, had I finished and been happy with the way this looks, I might give it a rating of three stars, for example, and then move on to my next image. Um, so that's basically it. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.